All right, so I'm going to tell you about the shape of the paddle boards that we design. They're an all-rounder paddleboard shape designed for going on flat water and in the surf. Uh, so the way we've designed it is to be like super functional but lightweight at the same time. So what a lot of people notice is that when they pick them up, they're really surprised at just how light these things are. So the 10 and a half foot long board weighs in around 10 kilograms, 10 and a half kilograms. Um, so how do we make it light? What we do is we have just two layers of fiberglass underneath, uh, one thin layer and one thicker layer. And that is because, that is less than most paddle boards because we know that you're not gonna stand on the bottom, same as you wouldn't stand on the bonnet of an Austin Martin. On the front side, however, you are gonna be standing here on the deck grip. So we have uh, two layers of thicker fiberglass on the front, even up around here, but then underneath the deck grip is uh, inlaid bamboo veneer. Now bamboo veneer is heavy, but it also is um, super strong and stops indents. So if you're a uh, heavier person than most, um, standing with your feet here all the time isn't gonna cause indents. Um, so that's the weight. What have we done with the, the nose and the tail? So we've put a single concave in the nose here. So that means it concaves like that. And then it runs through to a flat section uh, for, for stability and a double concave in the tail. So let me try to hold that up there so you can see. What happens is it's a double concave, very slight, a little concave here and a little concave there. And then what that does is it channels the water through the fins to the rear and there's a sharp edge on the back as well. A sharp edge that runs a third of the way up. And what that means is that when you are trimming along a wave, it means you can bring your weight to the rear and just um, surf that wave, trim into the wave. But then for those who prefer flat water, um, that single concave at the front is going to keep that board nice and stable uh, like, a, like a hovercraft with uh, two, two sides kind of running, trimming through the water and keeping it nice and stable. Uh, you see a nice little bit of lift in the nose and a tiny bit of lift in the rear as well. What we've done with the rear and the nose is put this real wood stoppers here. Now this is a nice retro design but it's also very practical too so if you bump this up against a rock or or drop it it's not going to damage it to the extent where water is going to run into the fiberglass you could very easily uh, patch this up with uh, epoxy resin now what this is here is um, wood paper now paper obviously does come from wood but it's also a, a wood design so the wood paper is ultra thin and ultra light uh, so that's why this wood looking retro style board is extremely light. Uh, so it's nice just to be able to pick the board up. It's got a little handle inside there so you can hold it like this. Oh, and we also note too that we put the air vent in the middle of the board, so that's concealed. So what is an air vent? So a lot of people ask this, essentially because the paddleboard is a huge surfboard, right? Inside the huge surfboard is epoxy foam. And inside foam, just like in your rescue foam, is like little pockets of air and if it's in the direct sunlight those little pockets of air inside the board are going to heat up and ultimately expand and so these little air valves what they do is allow the hot air to to escape and that's why sometimes when you're paddling in the water you might see some air bubbles f forming around that air valve that's just the hot air coming out as the board goes into the cold water uh, so it's a one-way valve so water's not going to go in uh, so that explains that does that make sense if not let me know in the questions and uh, let's get paddling.